Okay, I've, well, I'm Edmund Duval. Who am I? I don't know. Um, I'm a English um, potter, artist, writer, curator, traveller, um, and uh, I'm stumped at the very first question. <laughs> down towards the, um, the glazing area and the fire area. This is where we mix up all the glazes. So all these boxes are of minerals, dolomite, bone ash, barium carbonate, ball clay, nephilim cyanite, talc, cobalt, tin, all of them, of course, toxic as hell. Um, and here we've got electric kilns um, and gas kilns. I've um, been working on this for, 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 um, for years now, and they're, and they're really beautiful. Different white glazes that are, and, and celadon blue glazes. Things come in, into this space here, which is my kind of holy of holies, actually. For me, it's a kind of it's what I, space I love almost most. So I've been making pots all, all my life. I, I, I was five when I first started making pots. I persuaded my father to take me to a class. Uh, and I loved it. And so it's been, you know, I wasn't good at it. I just loved it. I loved the experience of, of taking something which was formless and making something which had, um, had some structure had some sense of form around it. And it's because I've done it for so many decades now, you know, year after year after year, um, it's really become the way I think about myself. It's become entirely part of my life. One way of talking about what I do is to think about where things begin. So when I need to make something, um, I'm often um, mesmerised or, or haunted by an idea or by a piece of poetry, a line from poetry, a word sometimes, or, or a piece of music or a, or a space that I've, I've been thinking about, uh, a, a particular place that I want to, to kind of question by, by making something for it. So there are all these different um, possibilities when I begin. I am grounded in, in, in history. The history um, and culture of the materials I use, you know, this extraordinary uh, 2,000 years of history of, of porcelain. It, I, I don't use this material lightly. It's not a light material. It's, it's got incredible resonance, incredible power. joys about making over a long, long period of time, decades. And of course, your fingers and your body know what they're doing. You don't have to instruct them. obviously on some spectrum where, for me, objects do actually have very powerful sound. I do actually literally hear them when I put them out. So at its most basic level, I mean, the, 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 it's to think about it in terms of rhythm. 
or pulse. So that, for instance, there are some larger works in the exhibition which have very, which have many, many vessels in them, dozens and dozens of them, and shelves, and, and, and there the, the spacing of the vessels, the size and quantity of the vessels, and then the pauses, and then the repetitions, and the changes of those groupings are, uh, are similar to rhythmical, the rhythmical things, uh, experiences you might hear in music or in poetry. I do work with, 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 with serious music happening <laughs> uh, loudly <laughs> in my space. And in fact, acoustically, this is a wonderful place because the, wherever I am, the music kind of bounces beautifully around. And, and, and that does do it. it. What it does is to, is to provide um, a landscape for me to be in. Morandi, I first saw Morandi 30 years ago, um, possibly more, 35 years ago. It was in New York, I was 17, I'd, I'd sort of run away from school and uh, I remember being completely stunned. Um, I, I, was I was being apprenticed at that moment as a potter, so I was very much at the beginnings of my life, as serious life as a as a potter. And there was this sense of extraordinary intensity around the canvas. It was, you know, this, all of his pictures are small. I mean, it was, you know, there's a sort of intimacy around. Um, but there was a seriousness about it, which I just loved. And I've continued, it's got deeper and deeper and deeper in my love for his work. The idea of slowing down, the idea of of moving more slowly or, or returning to something to see it again or sitting still is, is pretty much at the heart of what I'm doing and of course it's, for me it's at the heart of Morandi you know I mean that is why this exhibition is so so special for me because it's a sort of meditation on on time really on 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 looking again thinking again making again breathing again slowing down and you know what this is this is what still life is about still life is about looking at objects harder, going back to them, looking at them again, often objects which have no um, intrinsic value at all, objects which actually are, are just everyday objects, but bringing them together uh, and making you, you, you pay attention to them. I mean, that, that's, that's what still life does.